video, we're going to talk about the is active sidebar WordPress function and dynamic sidebar function. So if you go to GitHub, uh, sorry, if you go to the uh, codex, you can see that this function is defined here, is active sidebar, and it takes a parameter called index. And what does it do? It checks whether a sidebar is in use or not. Okay, uh, so if the index could be the sidebar name, ID, or the number to check. So in a moment, it'll be clear what this actually does. Okay, it returns true if the sidebar is in use and false otherwise. And it's defined in the WP includes widgets.php. On the other hand, the dynamic sidebar function uh, also takes a parameter index, and by default, the value is one. And uh, it goes ahead and displays the dynamic sidebar. So this one checks is active sidebar checks if the sidebar is active and the dynamic sidebar goes ahead and displays that sidebar uh, the sidebars okay so if your theme specifies the ID of the name parameter for its registered sidebar you can pass an ID or name as index parameter otherwise you can pass a numerical index to display the sidebar at that index so by default it is sidebar one uh, okay or sidebar so what this value is basically, if you go to your uh, dashboard, your backend, and if you check this footer, and if you inspect element, okay, uh, so over here, okay, you see that there is nothing active over here, which means you know there are no sidebars inside of this currently. Okay, so if I go ahead and drop one of these over here. Okay, let's say we name it as cat and we save it. Okay, you can see that we have the sidebar to uh, active now. Yeah, let's refresh the page. So this sidebar two is basically uh, the ID of this sidebar. Okay, so currently it is nothing is there inside of it, so it's not active. So what we're going to do is we go to our theme. Um, so this is my footer.php of my theme. And I have defined this function inside of my footer tag and I've checked is active sidebar and I've mentioned the sidebar ID which is sidebar 2 so in my backend this is my sidebar ID okay sidebar ID 2 so this is saying is that is sidebar active which means are there any you know uh, sidebars inside are there any widgets inside of this uh, div if there are any then go ahead and call this function which is dynamic sidebar which is going to display that sidebar on my site, on my front end. So currently you can see this is the footer and I don't have anything displayed uh, at the bottom over here in terms of the widgets sidebar. So let's go ahead and uh, add a sidebar widget. And uh, I think we already have it here. Yeah, just name it, save it. Okay, and now if you go ahead and refresh, you can see this uh, sidebar widget has been added, and that is added only because of this dynamic sidebar function. So now this function will return true because this sidebar to ID of the sidebar to ID is active now. We've got one of these inside. Okay. So this will be active now and hence the dynamic sidebar is going to display the um, widget sidebar widget uh, into the footer now. If I go ahead and comment out this function and then check, one second. Yes, so we'll go ahead and comment out this function and then go ahead and refresh. You can see that this widget, the sidebar widget is gone now. So which means that this dynamic sidebar function is actually responsible to display that sidebar widget at the bottom in the footer. Okay, cool. So just to recap, uh, is active sidebar is we will pass the index, which is the sidebar name or ID. In this, in our case, we are passing, passing the ID, which is sidebar two, is what we pass here, is active sidebar. Is going to return true in case if there are any widgets inside of this sidebar. Uh, in this case, it is. There is a widget. 
okay once it returns true then this is going to call the dynamic sidebar function again we're passing the index of this sidebar which is the id basically okay and then we this is going to display the content of the sidebar so let's add a couple more name it as audio save it refresh the page okay I've added a different one I've added pages from here okay and refresh the page and check we've got the pages as well okay uh, if you do the inspect element if you go ahead and check you can see that uh, aside is the um, aside is the uh, HTML element basically the aside tag is the one defined by us and all of the content inside which is this div and this div okay which is for these two widgets okay is coming from the dynamic sidebar okay so this is responsible for displaying everything inside of this categories 3 and page 2 widgets okay cool so if you have any questions you can leave the comment and I'll see you in the next video take care bye